today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute couch slippers. They are really warm, even in the summertime. Uh, the air conditioning is going and you're watching TV and your panties get cold. Uh, they're great just to pick up and slip on. I typically don't walk around the house in them too much because of that soft bottom. They can be really slippery, but I just like to keep them tucked under my pillow on the couch and slip them on when I'm watching TV or maybe crocheting. This is pencil, by the way. He just stepped in, so we're gonna let him stay. He loves to crochet. So, but um, I love to make these. They are so much fun, easy to make, very quick projects, and I love a quick project. Um, you can make them out of a single strand of Bernat baby yarn. This stuff is so soft, it's like a cloud. This first pair I showed you is actually three strands of just regular yarn, also very easy. Uh, this is one strand of a really soft, thick, and quick yarn. This one's three. Kind of looks like candy. And uh, these I made for my husband. This is one strand. Um, it's the thick and quick. And one skein of this darker gray here wasn't enough for his size foot. So I picked up with a contrasting gray at the end for the heel which kind of turned out great. It made the slipper look a little more masculine for him, so I was really happy about that. All right, I've got a um, pattern that we're gonna post online for y'all. It's all typed up, so you can kind of see what we're gonna do today. And there's also a hyperlink down here. Um, I found this chart on Pinterest. It's uh, a sizing chart. If you don't have the person that you're making these for right in front of you to measure as you go along, um, you can refer to that chart and it'll get you really close. So, but I thought for the video, we would make a toddler size uh, slipper, kind of match up maybe our mom and child slipper there. Um, but that one, I think we can do together from beginning to end. Shouldn't take us too long. So I will see y'all back in a minute. Okay. All right, I wanted to show you all the supplies that you're gonna need today to make this little slipper here. Um, I've got three strands of regular yarn here. I love to have the balls of yarn in bowls so it just can roll off the, the ball really easily and not get so tangled up as you go along. I am using an M size hook. That's a nine millimeter hook and I've used that for every single pair of slippers that I showed you earlier. Um, every type of yarn, every uh, three strands together, just this hook. Uh, you'll need some scissors and a yarn needle and a tape measure so that you can measure um, the size of the slipper as you go along. It gets just the right fit or at least pretty close, okay? See you back in a minute and we'll get started. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. I've got my three strands of yarn ready to go here. Did want to point out that the pattern that's going to be posted for you all will make a women's size seven and a half slipper if you followed it um, exactly. Um, it's just a general size seven and a half. Always remember that everyone's um, tension and techniques are different, so it could be a little bigger, it could be a little smaller. So just keep that in mind. Uh, for today's video, we are gonna make the toddler size six. So it's gonna be altered just a bit, but that's the beauty of this pattern. You can add or delete a few stitches or rows to make it just the size that you need. So if you will, just start with a slip knot in your three strands of yarn. There we go. Insert your hook into those three strands on that loop and chain four. All right, into that first chain there, you wanna insert your hook, grab the three strands of yarn, find the center of the circle, and spread that with your finger there and pull these three um, strands through that fourth chain to close the circle. There you go. I like to flip these, um, the end yarn over to the other side. 
And now we're gonna put seven half double crochets into this circle. So if you will, do a chain one first. You'll always chain one at the beginning of each round and this is considered round one. So we've chained one and now it's time for seven half double crochets. To do that, you yarn over, insert your hook into the middle of the circle, grab those three strands of yarn with your hook. You can see now that you have three sets of three strands of yarn on there, on that hook. And this is where you're gonna close it out. Grab the three strands of yarn and pull it through all three of those sets there. And that's your first half double crochet. And let's do that six more times. Yarn over through the center of the circle. Grab your three strands. Yarn over. Pull through all three sets. That's two. Three. Got four on there now. You can always slide those around and adjust it. Make plenty of room for all seven. Five. Six. Last one, seven. There we go. And we're gonna close this circle by inserting our hook into the first half double crochet that we made. Don't let this be daunting to you, but you are gonna have to go through a few strands to get through the top of that loop. You can see your seven half double crochets. See that one is kinda of like a V stitch. Looks like a V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna close this round by inserting our hook into the first half double crochet V-stitch right there. Just in the top there, grab all three strands, pull it through, pull through again. And now we've closed our round. We're ready for round two. Again, you always chain one at the beginning of each round. And in this round, we're going to put two half double crochets into each stitch for a total of 14. Okay, so we used that first half, half double crochet to close the round, and we're also going to start our two stitches in there. So that same stitch. So yarn over, and this is that first half double crochet of the first round. So that's where we're going. through all three, yarn over, through all three. Oops, I lost it. Sorry, that's no problem. Just go back, pick up your strands again, yarn over, okay. Now we have two half double crochets into that first stitch. And you also have that, um, that slip stitch that we made to close the um, round one. Okay, so let's do two in the next stitch. There you go. Third stitch. There we go. Let's see, I messed that one up again. It's no big deal. Just pull that out there. Start again. you mess up or snag something, try not to pull, just uh, back everything out and start over because snagging on that um, yarn will fray it and you, um, you won't be pleased with the way it looks in the end. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like we're coming up on the last stitch. Let's just check to be sure. We've got one, two, three, four. Can you see that? I can see two stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so this is our seventh. We're gonna put two in there. One. Two. And again, to close, we find the first stitch of the round and slip stitch in there. Slip stitches, just pulling through that loop, grabbing those strands and just pulling through. Now you have round two complete. All right, so we are going to um, now just concentrate on one half double crochet in each stitch. We're not increasing anymore. For the toddler slipper, you can see here's that first round, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we're going to do three through seven, one half double cro crochet in each stitch and then stop and we're going to make the heel. Okay, I'll do the first round with you and then we might break and meet up at the seventh round. Here we go. Remember that chain one. There's one should have 14 stitches around now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Snag something there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. You might get confused on that last little gap there. It's just that closing uh, whenever we slip stitch in every round. It just makes that. So don't put another stitch in there. I like to count those stitches every time just to be certain. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, we're ready to close round, uh, round three. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet. Your three strands of yarn on the hook going right through that loop just to close it out there you go so we're going to do that again through row seven remember to always chain one at the beginning of each row and i will meet you back when we get done with uh through row seven okay all right i hope everybody made it to row seven okay with little trouble um, it's time to start forming the heel. So again, we've done one through seven, and we're about to do rows eight, nine, 10, and 11. So four more rows to form the heel. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna chain one as we do every row, and we're gonna half double crochet into 10 of the 14 stitches around. Remember, we have 14 stitches around, but we're only gonna half double crochet into 10 of them and then we're gonna chain one and turn and go back the way that we came. We're gonna do that for four rows.
Okay, here's how we do it. Chain one. Remember that first stitch, half double crochet. Four, so one, two, three, four stitches, five, six, y'all can see this is good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you can see my last four stitches, that would be stitch 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we would have closed it if we were making a longer, longer um, shoe. But this is the heel. So we've done our 10 stitches. So now chain one and turn. And we're gonna do 10 back the way we came. So right there. Already chained one when we turn. Half doubles all the way back. on those ending stitches they kind of get a little wonky and turn a bit but you can find it chain one turn one over for a half double crochet okay I'm gonna finish this out and meet you at the end of row 11 All right, we're almost done here. I have one more stitch to go. I've gone um, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Got one stitch left in row 11. So one more half double crochet. Last stitch, wanted to do it with y'all so you can see how I finish it off. That's the last stitch, then chain one. And you can actually cut your yarn from here. Okay, so then just pull that yarn all the way through. Just kind of locks that last stitch into place. If you will now, turn your, your slipper inside outwards. Forgive me, earlier I went on ahead and weaved in those three strands from when we first began. But now it's time to weave in these uh, these strands, but first we gotta close up the heel, so let's do that. Thread your yarn needle. Okay, and it's just basically going back and forth across these stitches. So just insert in there, and back and forth. All tangled up there. Oh boy, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just back and forth. Remember, you're inside outwards. Okay. 
There we go. We can get to the end. Then we're going to start weaving. Make sure you don't do this. Make sure you don't pull tight and shrink down that heel. If you do, stretch it back out before you close out because you don't want to pull it down and have it fall off the back of whoever's wearing it off their heel. So then just start weaving um, the yarn through the stitches. That's why a long tail is really good so you don't uh, slip out of your yarn needle. Just re-thread that if it happens, no big deal. We're just going in and out all around, just trying to secure the stitch. Don't want it to fall out, but we don't want to make a knot because that can be painful. These can be washed in the washing machine. I recommend like a laundry bag if you're going to do so, and then lay them flat to dry. It's just too short. Learn from me. Don't don't cut your tail too short. <laughs> there we go. I think that's good. Now I'm gonna clip that off right there. And turn it back to the right side. And your little toddler slippers are all done. They're very cute. Be nice and cozy for somebody. Match their mama. All right, thanks so much for joining me for this video. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.